Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. So guys, things are getting so heated up already for the ANC. And apparently, as far as the elections are concerned, the ANC is moving from bad to worse. Guys, ANC national support declines further as Zuma's MK poll surprised margin in KZN. Before I give you more details about exactly what is happening guys, I mean, do all to kindly follow Jam Vibes please, like this video, drop a comment and above all, share this video with all of your friends and loved ones too please. In a political landscape, marred by shifting allegiances and rising discontent, the African National Congress, popularly abbreviated as the ANC, is facing another huge and massive blow already on their faces to its national support as the Umkonto Wesizwe Military Veterans Association, that is, the MKMVA, gains traction in KwaZulu-Natal. The recent surge in support for the MKMVA signals a deeper fracture within the ANC, highlighting growing dissolutionment among key constituencies. From the high projections national results, the ANC can be seen leaving from 41.3% with a negative 16.2%. Also, we have the DA, 21.8% with a 1% gain, the MK party, 13.8%, which is stagnant, the EFF, 9.2%, with a whooping drop of 1.6%, IFP, 3.8% with an increase of 0.4, PA 2% with an increase of 2, FF plus 1.5% with a negative drop of 0.9, Ac Action SA 1% constant, Rice Mzansi Bosa 0.4, 0.4 all constant. KZN, historically a stronghold for the ANC, has witnessed a notable shift in political dynamics. The MKMVA, once considered a fringe group, has rapidly garnered support, particularly among dissolutioned ANC members and supporters. The association's emphasis on radical transformation and a return to the ANC's liberation roots resonates with many in the province where socio-economic challenges persist despite decades of ANC rule. This shift has actually posed a huge, massive, significant challenge to the ANC's dominance in KZN and raised questions about the party's ability to retain its traditional support base nationwide. The decline in ANC support in KZN coupled with the MKMVA's ascendance, underscores broader concerns about the party's unity and effectiveness in addressing present issues facing South Africa. The decline in ANC support can be attributed to various factors, including allegations of corruption, internal divisions, and a failure to deliver on promises of socioeconomic transformation. The MKMVA's RISE capitalizes on these grievances, positioning itself as a viable alternative to the ANC's perceived stagnation. However, while the MKMVA's growing influence presents a challenge to the ANC, it also raises concerns about the militarization of politics and the potential for increased polarization within the country. The association's link to the liberation struggle evoke strong emotions, but they also risk overshadowing critical policy debates and exacerbating tensions within society. As the ANC grapples with internal strife and declining support, it faces a critical juncture in its history. The party must confront its shortcomings head-on, addressing allegations of corruption, fostering internal cohesion, and delivering tangible results to regain the trust of dissolutioned voters. Moreover, the emergence of alternative political movements like the MKMVA underscores the need for a more inclusive and accountable political landscape in South Africa. While competition is highly essential for a healthy democracy, it must be accompanied by transparency, integrity, and a commitment to the welfare of all citizens. In the coming months, 
All eyes will be on KZN as the political landscape continues to evolve. The ANC's response to the shift in dynamics in the province will not only shape its future but also have a far-reaching implication for the trajectory of South African politics as a whole. As the country navigates these uncertain waters, one thing remains clear. From bad to worse, the ANC's national support is in jeopardy and the MKMVA's rise in KZN is a testament to the urgent need for change. It is very, very disturbing seeing all of what is ongoing already as at now. And I keep asking myself, guys, like, yo, what is ongoing? Like, the South Africa of some few, few years ago is very different from the South Africa that we have today. Anyways, before now, guys, ANC party was definitely ahead after 20% of votes counted. Of course, I'm going to be giving you all exactly what happened. As it stood yesterday, with 20% of votes counted, the African National Congress, ANC, highly maintained its lead, followed by the Democratic Alliance, the Economic Freedom Fighters, the Mzansi Khoye, and the Patriotic Alliance. The ANC lead comes as uh, no surprise given its historical dominance in South African politics. But the preliminary results are generating significant interest and speculations about potential shifts in the political landscape. The DA, traditionally the main opposition party, is currently holding its position as the second most popular party. Their campaign focused heavily on service delivery and anti-corruption, resonating with urban and middle class voters. However, the results suggest that while they remain a strong contender, they are yet to significantly erode the ANC's broad base of support. The EFF, known for its radical and populist policies, is showing a robust performance. Their appeal to the younger electorate and disfranchised communities appears highly to definitely be translated into a solid share of the vote. Their performance in these early counts will be closely watched as a barometer of their ability to challenge the traditional dominance of the ANC and DA. The MK, a newer party on the scene, is making a surprising impact. Their rise indicates a desire among voters for fresh political alternatives, reflecting a broader dissatisfaction with the status quo. Similarly, the PS presence in the count shows the party's growing influence, particularly in regions where they have focused their grassroots efforts. A lot has been ongoing already. As the vote count continues, these early results provide a snapshot of the evolving political dynamics in South Africa. The ANC's ability to maintain its lead amidst growing competition will be critical for its future governance. While the performances of the DA, EFF, MK, and PA could, sign could signal significant shift in voter alignment and political power in the country. Without necessarily judging, I want each and every one of you to give me your honest opinions about what you think and how you feel based on everything being spewed out and revealed in today's video. I love each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Do all to take good care of yourselves and see you all in our subsequent uploads too, please.